from Igbo land in 2023. So whatever they can do to demonize IPOB, call them criminals, kill innocent people, and put it on them, no investigation is needed. If they shoot a gun anywhere along uh, Onicha Bridge, it must be IPOB ESN. If they shoot a gun inside Onisha main market, it must be ESN IPOB. No investigation is needed. The police or the military or the politicians or everybody, the media, it must be IPOB. Who else? Who else? Huh? My friend is them, Jerry. Who else? Who else? I was talking to my friend today. And he said, you know, we're talking about this whole thing. And my friend actually felt like, no, we, feel, we know if we talk I'm outside there, now them, ah, these unknown government and everything, they cannot be watching their people killed. Now, now them. I said, you see, the propaganda worked on you too. How many of you watching me right now have told yourself personally, you agree with me when I say you can't link, there's no evidence, nothing to link high POB to any of this crime. But before the crime happened, there's already an expected media narrative that uh, it must be IPOB. No investigation is needed. Just gather two, three people, you know, criminals or no criminal, put them together and display them, the IPOB member. Tell them what to say. That's it. No investigation is needed. How many of you are watching me right now? And since I have been telling you, since I have been giving you all this piece by piece info, to put them together and say, do you still believe IPOB did that after this, this, and that were put together? How many of you agreed with me on the program? But when you go out there, inside of you, believing that it must be them. Ah, trust me. Ah, Ogbeni, let's tell ourselves the truth. I like what they do. I like the way these uh, IPOB guys are doing, dealing with them. How many of you are telling yourself that? Because you are telling yourselves, the reality that their propaganda has put in your head. You will agree publicly and say, it's not them. Oh, my ego explained it to us. I understand it better now. It doesn't make it didn't make any sense. I, I get it better now. But when you go into your private room, when you go into your that online, when you get into all this chat group, when you are talking to your friends, and they are talking about unknown gunmen. They are talking about the killings of the egos. They are talking about all these things we have been talking about. How many of you tell yourselves, go deadly and say, now them, even though you have no proof, other than if not them, they do harm, you support them. I support unknown gunmen. That's why, I mean, I, I don't like uh, violence. So some of you will be like, I don't like violence. So. But I support unknown government what they are doing because this country, eh, you will need to show them. You don't know them. They are criminals. They are criminals. And you cannot let what they have done to you or what they are doing make you let them steal your emotion. That's what they are doing. They are stealing your emotion. Put it on something that is going to then validate what you believe in as a violent group. It is so easy. It is called uh, psychological conditioning. It's there in your mind. It's there. The media will say IPOB. Sometimes they won't mention IPOB ESN. When they write unknown gunmen in their, in their report, they will say, since the arrest of uh, Nam Dekanu, the leader of the IPOB, the insecurity in Eastern Nigeria has escalated. So that you reading it can automatically just feel like, okay, it's because they arrested the Nam Dekanu. Of course, now that's why there is a ESN. They gave them guns, forgetting that the ESN, that they are trying to make a terrorist group or trying to make you think they are responsible for this or that without any investigation, no nothing, right? The same ESN is not different from your JTF. It's supposed to, ESN is supposed to be your JTF, Joint Task Force, Military Joint Task Force, Vigilante with the military, Vigilante with this police, performing local security, community security, to ward off all the criminals. That's what the ESN is supposed to be. But they are telling you they are fighting for Biafra. They are fighting. The ESN is not fighting for Biafra. ESN is fighting and providing security for the people of Biafra. Don't you get that? They have no reason to come into the town to shoot anyone or kidnap anybody. But the narrative is there even before they happen. So subconsciously, many of you already feel like that. So it's easier for them to plant it into your head 
And when they happen, it's so difficult to take it off your head. It's not difficult for me, oh, to take it off my head. Because I know UK would not offer asylum, their visa, free visa, to be a France running away from the persecution in Nigeria. No. They won't. You get that now? So you don't need to threaten anybody. You don't need to feel intimidated of anyone. It is a noble, honest mission that requires talking. Yoruba nation, it requires talking. Biafra, it requires talking. But Nigeria has put many, many of you in the shock old that you are beginning to feel like uh, we just have to shoot our way to independence. And I'm like, even if you have to shoot your way into independence, you are going to need the people on your side. The only man who has the people on his side, they abuse them, they call them names, they did this and that, eh? but they are loyal to him. The other man is Unam de Kano. The man is Unam de Kano. Release him, free him, and all these criminals you call unknown gunmen, they would fizzle out because the people will rise and they will fight them and they will get rid of them rather than for PDP stalwarts to now blame all their political criminalities in eastern nigeria to now blame it on ipob there are many many of you who are supporters of ipob the propaganda that you are reading on twitter the propaganda you are reading on facebook all of these things are deliberate if you pay attention eh, you can see that the, it is increasing and increasing and increasing because the longer they keep in them they can in that in that uh, their detention Eh, the longer the possibility that uh, PDP should forget the Eastern Nigeria. The IPOB are not going to stop your election. That's one thing some of you don't understand. When IPOB says no election, they are not going to send people to come and snatch your paper, ballot paper. They are not going to come and use gun to chase you away from voting. There is something called it at home on election day. The politicians call it uh, voters' apathy. Voters' apathy means if PDP is planning to get uh, two, three, or five million votes from Eastern Nigeria, they may only get about 500,000. So what do you think will happen to 4.5 million? Eh? When uh, APC, Egbe Kegbe, can just go somewhere else and get that and just beat them. So if they want to win in 2023, in their WhatsApp group, PDP has now commissioned so many Igbo influencers, social media influencers, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Telegram, uh, what's the column? Clubhouse and everywhere to tell you that IPOB is a terrorist organization. When the election is over, they won't talk about IPOB anymore because they don't care. They don't care about Igbo land. They don't care about Biafra land. But IPOB is a threat to their business. They have been putting all the numbers together. And if you remember, in the last two weeks, the level that these PDP sellers on social media, they have been promoting Peter Obi. You will think St. Peter Obi is the best thing that's ever happened to humanity since the since discovery of sliced bread. Now, IPOB is a threat to the uh, possibility of selling Pitaobi to the Northern Caliphates. So if you don't know this, and you are reading it everywhere, you are read, seeing people on social media, you are seeing people on TV, every small thing, IPOB, every small thing, IPOB, they are trying to, to bombard you with them. You are not going to be able to reason. You are going to see people killed in broad daylight. They are going to record them. They are going to post them on social media. Police are not going to be looking for them. They're not going to look for anybody. They just want to make sure that, uh, so that when they go out there and they start 
uh, you know, start kidnapping every Igbo son and daughter they see out there, and they will accuse them of being member of IPOB ESN. You as an Igbo man, you as an Igbo woman, you as a Yoruba man, you as a Yoruba woman, you will justify it. You will say, I support IPO, I supported IPOB. That was when they are not killing people. The video I saw yesterday, when they kill a pregnant woman, when they kill this and that, it was IPOB. They are working on that. The people to amplify that, eh? There are no other people. They are not full of need. Some of you are saying a DSS. That is where you always mix it up. Don't make up anything. Use what is available. If you see information that is available to you now, eh? Work with that. Don't make things up. Don't do all this, all this uh, uh, blackmail stories that uh, some of you are actually doing on social media about Biafra. You know, you make up uh, stories, false stories, lies just for you to have something to talk about or what have you, they are not helping you. They are making you to, you are, you are missing, you are missing the real thing where they are negotiating your death. And whatever thing that fancies your, well, catches your fancy about this or that, killing other people is never anything that is uh, uh, fanciful or funny in any way. It is not. So when they record that, so you will begin to say, ah, I supported IPOB. I saw, you know, but you are not thinking. You are not thinking. You are reacting. And that's exactly what they want to do. When you begin to see all of this, do you, no, no be full and in the push ammo. No be DSS, they, they lie you. No be DSS, this and that, that some of you are made all this uh, nonsense that some of you are making up uh, in order for you to feel good and say, no, no be us, do am. No be IPOB, do am. Listen to me very well. We know soldiers are killing people in Igbo land, kidnapping them, putting them up on Trump up charges, accusing them of this and that. We know that. We also know there are Igbo criminals. Yes, Igbo criminals, funded, financed by Igbo politicians who are also committing the crime that some of you call unknown this, unknown that. They are Igbos, they are Biafrans. They have come out, they have done videos, they have displayed themselves. Now, you as an IPOB member, Listen to me. You should never feel comfortable in praising them, except if you are one of them. If you are one of them, eh, who, who enjoy those killings and the rest, you are committing a crime and you are not an IPOB member. Trust me, you are not. No, you are not. So all of this, yeah, they will do if they have to keep people broad daylight, record the video and post it on social media. And they will say, so when the IPOB say no election, what they are saying is, they will boycott the election. Now, person, now person, you see, another thing I want to say to you is this. When they say no election and they boycott an election, it means they are sitting at home on the day of election. They have nothing to do with it. So all these PDP paid boys, they are Igbo boys. Some of them are not living in Igbo land. They are living in Abuja and Lagos. But they are social media influencers. IPOB, telling people not to vote, eh, is a disaster for PDP in 2023 in Igbo land. So whatever will make them hang this IPOB, Whatever will make every one of you who praised them, supported them, and supporting them to change your mind, they are not being done by Fulanio. All this propaganda against IPOB, they are not from Fulanio. They are not from uh, DSSO. They are from your fellow Igbo brothers and sisters when they started pushing uh, Peter Obi for president. So IPOB telling people that they won't be Afra, they don't want presidency. Eh? It's the same as when Oloye Sunday ago said, we don't want election. We want safety and we want a Yoruba nation. It didn't take them more than two months to order for his, uh, for his killing, for his assassination, uh, his assassination. If you don't know, I am reminding you now, telling them no election is like declaring war on them and they will kill you for it. Igbo said, we want Yoruba nation. They decided to kill him. 
forgetting the fact that the same Igbo that they sent killers, military DSS and uh, all these uh, repentant Fulani terrorists in their DSS to go and kill Igbo. The same Igbo is, was always going to into the bush in a joint operation with the Nigerian police, Nigeria military, the Nigeria DSS, and every other security agent. How many of you have seen that video before? Oloye Sunday, we were dressed uh, in his uh, usual eh, war shirts that we were to call up. And you will see police, you will see military, all of them with their guns, everybody. Igbo with his own gun, everybody. And other people, hunters, every, they will join. They will go into the forest, chasing terrorists. Igbo was their friend. I went, what happened? That they turned their guns on him. Because Igbo was chasing Fulani terrorists. Igbo, when Igbo was chasing the Fulani terrorists, eh? It wasn't that bad for them until Igbo said no election. Of course, now somebody just said uh, just before the hype, before all the hype, where everybody come become your old Yoruba nation uh, agitator for social media, where everybody come turn uh, social media to hey Yoruba nation now before Igbo inspired them. Igbo was doing it codedly then for security of Yoruba people. I'm talking about as far back as uh, 2016, 2017. Oloye Sunday, go with the soldiers, with military, I mean, with the soldiers, with the police and all of them. He will buy them food. Eh? He will pay for their, for the, for their own uh, bullets. Igbo will even give them money. And they will go into the forest. And they will start chasing the Fulani terrorists. Pa, pa! Etimu! Etimu! Oya, Emu! Emu! We have the videos. Then you uh, Sunday Bo then was like uh, Yoruba need to stand, Yoruba need to stand, Yoruba need to move together, Yoruba this and that. I said, ah, Yorubas, we need to we need to go. Ah, they said this Igbo want to cause uh, serious Africa he wants to break Nigeria. Kill him. Wherever you see him, kill him. So the soldiers that used to follow Igbo to the forest, the police, everybody, they withdrew them. They, they, they had to pull back. Then they sent the DSS to go and kill him. Just same way they try to kill uh, Namdekanu. And you know the rest of the you know the rest of the story. What were we asking for? The conversation around why economically Yorubas are no longer there. Eh? Educationally, Yorubas are no longer there. Infrastructurally, we are no longer there. Poverty is now something that has become our second nature. Because we are part of Nigeria. Criminals are jumping up and down. They want to be president. 18 day. Today is the 18th day that uh, they have kidnapped people on, uh, I mean, on Kaduna Abu, uh, Abuja Railway. Maybe all of you saw that. Wait, let me show you something. 18 days ago, they kidnapped these people. And the, the people who were supposed to talk about them, provide security or free them, they want to be president. They don't want to be president. They want to be president. Over who? Over the kidnapped uh, kingdom. Kidnapping kingdom. And I'm talking on behalf of the students. Government should please hear our cry and come to our aid. Thank you. Which school are you from? I'm a student of Kana State University. What is your name? Eh? What is your name? I'm Azifa Lawrence John. From which state? Kana State. Where are you studying? I'm schooling in Kanan State University. Which course? Agriculture. Okay. The next thing, collect. Women. Mm -hmm. Some glad is women. <coughs> An ex staff of Defense Industry School for of Nigeria. What happened on Monday was needless. If the government would have a listening ear and a seat, so, what the populists are talking about? So, my name is uh, Um, I was going to Kaduna for I trip. Ah, Muni, the passenger, I'm going to go Abuja, Zua Kaduna, and I'm going to go to the 
Sekarang saya pergi dah asyarakat dah debut Wanda akan hanya mu Tazua Kaduna Akan sama dengan Farah Kamamu Tunda dengan lokal cik Zua yang zu Muka dia muka saya dengan halan dia berkata ciki Aku ini macam ada kanan nyara Aku ini sopi Wa andeki Basu dan laipia Aku ini muka dengan kamu wa andeki Saya kawasan pada tepi yang Mereka cik mula dengan halan dia tak ada kai So dah kamu nak kerana Yang wadah wakil alih ziki Dan kuma isa guam nanti Dan adik ini saya juga cikgu Wanda mempunyai cina raiwa Dan si wana pun agak gawa Dan ganyi cikgu And you read about Ademola, they shot him. He was going to Kaduna, they shot just a Yoruba man there. So this is not about, oh. Yeah, now, 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 not that, now, that's just their problem in the north. Your brothers and sisters are there too. Trust me. And they are not in uh, any small number. The breakfast is for everybody. And that uh, you are even not in Nigeria doesn't spare you. That won't spare you out. Because 18 days, 18 days. Do you know that nobody is even talking to them anymore? The families. Even terrorists are not contacting them anymore. They said the terrorists started calling them. They will call them with the with the victim's phone. Hello? Hey, ah, Mayagun. Hello, Mayagun. No, 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 no. Danka, they did. Danka, they did. Allah, bam, salam. Allah, bam, salam. Now, come in, come in, they come in. This is just a, a terrorist. Boku Haram calling to confirm. Is this Mayagun? Is your father Mayagun? Say, that's, that's our father. Please, please, what can we do? They called the phone. Terrorists were calling the families to confirm that. Is this your family member? Yes. They never contacted them again. Bokwari is hosting dinner inside that old rock. Fake Pastor Ruga is hosting dinner inside us old rock because they want to be presidiot. Tifnubu is hosting dinner. Well, maybe he shouldn't host Tifnubu much because that would be too much. He would probably cannot be, he can't command or control their military to do anything, by the way. So, Sai Baba, Sai Baba, Sai Barbarian. President Muhammad Wadi. So please, look beyond being the president of this country. Look at this issue like a father, like a son, like a son, like a husband, like a, you know, like a father, like a son, like a husband. So the victims are there. We can't just start imagining which situation or what situation they're inside. Please, we're appealing to the president, Muhammad brother, and all necessary authorities. The only crime of these people is that they board the train AK-9. Please, they should come to their rescue and rescue them. Please, we're appealing to the government. We're pleading. And like he said in his speech, we're also appealing to the kidnappers to come out and negotiate with the family. We're ready. This is 17 days. If they want to, we are ready. We are willing. But they are not even talking to us. We can only plead. We can only beg the government. Please, they should come to the aid of those people. Look at the pregnant woman. Seven old pregnant, now two weeks. It's like almost getting to... Eight weeks, and she's already been given appointment for cesarean session. Is it she going to be there at that period? Look at the aged woman with diabetes. Look at no medications. Look at the man. Look at the, the brother that is shot in his legs. That there is no any treatment. It's on the video clip. The president, please watch it. Look at it. Look at it from the humanitarian angle. Please, we are begging you, Mr. President. Please come to the rescue of our family members. Come to the rescue of your citizens. Come to the rescue of your children, of your son, of your wives. Please, Mr. President, do something. <laughs> Sorry, madam. Your president is deaf and dumb. He's a shigidi. That's what we call him, the breeding money queen. Inside the asshole rock. Your president is photo your president is shigidi madam nobody if you talk to shigidi shigidi no fee answer book what is the shigidi mm? as they say uh, where's that my uh what's the column uh my guy asari uh, 
Nigeria president now photo. Everybody go coast now photo with her. So you say our president is now photo with the Vita from the Africa from Canterbury. He's now photo with the Rogers. He's now photo with uh, this one. Now president now photo on our vote. Your president is now a picture. Photo. Not be juju be that. Not be when our father died for a job and we they care for them. Keep them for house. They poor like Bishop. You lose friend and prayer. And say Tombo arem gofu. C'est dans le calabari language, I think. Photo, no be juju be that. Madame, stop crying. Stop crying. Now, you know. In 2015, Buhari come and save us. In 2022, Hala, 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 Yamsa, Hala, Yakari, Hala, Yamsa, Hala, 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 Bamsa, Hala, Bamsa, Hala, Yakari. Hala, Yakari, let the boom in 2019 and you weary. You are going to do it again in 2023, Abi. You the warm up. So that you, you can start shouting your Hala, Yakari, Hala, Bamsa, Hala, Dankudi, Hala, Dankudi, by 2020, what, 2026, if you make Kandafa. Maybe you will make it that far anyway, because now they have a helicopter protecting the train. So that if you go on to Kaduna Abuja Railway now, there is security. Now, chopper. Yeah. You get it? You get it? You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. That's the situation. So don't get uh, dragged into something that uh, you don't understand. Uh, going into any of the charade, as we said, is going to be like you walking into... Uh, you know, just walking, walking into fire blind. And I bet that the, the, the you know, the, the kind of the heat from the fire should warn you. That is what I am doing now. Okay. Uh, Tiff Numbu's uh, political destruction and everything is so close by. And I'm begging you not to waste your tears. Please don't waste it. Gather your energy and tell yourself sir, the truth that uh, it is over. And once they realize that it is ideal, maybe for them to know that uh, they have one more shot to, to, to shoot. And that would be breaking your bus out of uh, current Nigeria and saving lives, which we can conclude to be break it up to save lives. Before you start up, before you appear in the next uh, video of the terrorists when they capture you, because according to them, only Buhari knows why they are fighting. They don't need money. I mean, people are selling their properties in northern Nigeria. Trust me. In 2015, <laughs> this is, no, 2014, do you know that Nigeria uh, budgets in 2014 was about uh, 4.5 trillion, I think, or 5 trillion? What's that? Now, that four trillion, they won't take uh, refined crude oil. Now, they won't take uh, do subsidy in 2022 alone. No be juju with that. It is here. It is eating everybody. And it's going to eat you so bad more soon. So, instead of you joining the gang of those who are going to get uh, trapped in their fraudulent expectations, right? When you are going to a badon. I have a message there for you. When you are going to Lekki, I have a message there for you. When you are going to Elefe tomorrow, I mean on, on Monday, I have a message there for you. When you are going to a day, you know, uh, Oshun, I have a message waiting for you there. And if you ever have to be uh, somewhere at, uh, uh, where is it, the other place? Uh, Songu, Ota, Alagbole, Badagri, and all those areas, I have some messages for you there. If Tifnumbu and Gang, uh, if they cannot manipulate you then you are now free what do you make of that 
use it well. Join us in this old advocacy. It is a conversation that must be had. If you don't do anything, if you join them in crucifying the Igbos, if you join them in vilifying the Biafrans, if you continue to join them to see death, uh, I mean, the killings of the Biafrans and all this injustice against them, all these oh, conspiracies against them and the rest, if you continue to justify it because you believe that's what will keep Nigeria one or keep Nigeria better, I don't know if that is what will give you electricity or give you good roads or better uh, security. If you continue to justify it, my mine is to remind you when they are done with them, they will use the same the same book for you. I don't care where you come from now, but you should care. Because if you are not an Igbo man, when they are done with them, they are coming for us. The Yorubas. Just before they come for us, eh, it is indeed better for us eh, to team up with other victims now, expose the old crime, maybe we can stop them before they even think of unleashing the same terror on us. Because you see, the way you're justifying it, eh? now so then go justify yours. All they have to do is to say you are a terrorist, and that's it. Nobody will ever say no, because you once agreed that uh, carrying a flag, holding a selfie stick, or recording a live broadcast talking about uh, devices and everything they've done to you as a people is now a crime. One day, it will become a crime to be a Yoruba man. Just the same way they are trying to make it a crime to be a Biafran. You are not seeing it if you are defending them. You are not seeing it if you are excusing them. You are not seeing it if you continue to think they are at fault. Everything IPOB did or doing, there's none of them that is ever against any law except the law of the Nigerian oppressors who actually don't obey their own laws. I mean, they make laws that they, they don't obey. They, they, are, they are the people that would be like, uh, do as I say. I mean, sorry, yeah, do as I say, not as I do. They make laws they don't respect, they don't obey. If you look at it very well, it is a systemic setup to criminalize self-determination. And if you let them do it to the Biafran, if you justify it for the Biafrans, whatever way you see it as, when they are done, they're going to do it to us. And it's going to be easier to do then. Guess what? And they're going to be right. Because by then, it will be law. They killed Biafrans for asking for Biafra conversation. They killed them and jailed them for asking for referendum. They criminalized them and they started crimes and terrorism in the, I mean, and then accuse them of what they didn't do, they would do worse to us if you let them get away with it. I don't, I don't care if you like the Igbos or you don't like them. But the point here is this. If you don't see this as a crime that is brewing, ethnic cleansing, state-sponsored terrorism, and gaslighting, profiling of an ethnic uh, nationalities in Nigeria, if you let it pass, because you don't like them. Because I don't like Kano. I don't like the way Namdi. And all those, all those things you're saying. If you don't see through what I've just told you, when they are done with them, they will come for you, for us. And they will be right. Because by then, there is already... Uh, what's the column? What's they call this thing? Pre pre uh, president or what's the column? No. There is already a precedent. So a precedent means it's already happened and you justified it. If you now say, Yorubas are marginalized, Yorubas, are, we want to have a conversation around constitution, they kill you, pam, you are dead. Ethnic cleansing, jail, it doesn't matter. It's the system. You're gone. Boom, you're gone. People are killed for no reasons. You look around and say, ah, the old Nigeria, you are not looking. You are not doing anything. Because there's no the old Nigeria anymore. Just conquered people. Think about that. And that's where I'm going to draw my curtains tonight. I thought I could take some calls. I actually wanted to, talk, to take some calls tonight. But I won't anymore because of my time. I am going to do 
maybe same some other time. And I can take calls and listen to you. To those of you who listen to me for two straight hours as class. Thank you. But remember, yeah, uh, you can keep all the points and you can also chip them in when I'm back again uh, next time. So to all my friends, the uh, donors, eh, I want to say a big thank you to all of you for what uh, you have done, for what we have done. Listen, we the response for our publicity, those uh, billboards here and there and all of that, the responses have been so great, honestly speaking. To the point that even those that we thought would get angry, let me tell you this, eh? those that we thought would get angry, they are going to be, you know, once they see the, uh, the billboard, they are going to react somehow. Trust me, they love it. They loved it. They are asking us for more. Uh, which level now? What, which kind of thing is this? Mayegun, we don't have this same uh, billboard. Uh, we don't have this uh, awareness in Badagri. We don't have this awareness uh, here. We don't have it uh, in Oshun. We need this awareness in Ife. We need this awareness. You know, I'm like, hey, hey. Any suru now? Any suru, calm down. It's not about billboard only. The billboard is just, uh, uh, you know, a tiny, uh, 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 you know, shikmeni idea from the... From the pool of ideas of what we have, by the time we have the resources and the money. Am I worried going to marry? Am I carrying? You know what I mean. So I have been receiving positive response and all of that from people all over the place, and they indeed want the publicity and all that to get to their area. They want to start a community and grassroots mobilization for this. They want to be able to point and state and say, "Have you seen that post billboard? Have you seen this?" So we have ordered for another four billboards, okay? Another four that will be delivered uh, by Monday, maybe, by Monday or Tuesday, okay? So if, 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 if uh, the source, we are sending uh, two down to if, uh, so you're going to see all over the place, okay? So our people uh, who share border with uh, Lagos State and Ogun State, like Alagbado, uh, song water. Uh, I think I was given a uh, alagbole. They shall give me some names of areas where we are going to get to those areas uh, little by little. And also, we're going to spread it. I said that uh, we have a lot of uh, awareness everywhere that will cover so many places, but they're going to be gradual and they're going to be they're going to continue to cost us uh, money. So, to our donor, I want to continue to say thank you to all of you. Okay, let us keep it uh, coming. Donate when you can. And then, uh, you know, donate what you can give. Don't force yourself to do anything, okay? And, uh, you know, tell people about it. It's even contribution and donation too. Sharing it and all that is also donation and contribution, okay? So uh, tomorrow, I may decide to raise fund again just to top our funding. Uh, as, uh, you know, uh, in a week now, that would be also spending about 1.4 million naira. So 1.4 million naira for our publicity uh, in the last uh, one week, which will last for a whole month, is a good spend. The response and the feedback have been so wonderfully great. So we'll do more and we'll continue to, you know, to do that. So to my friends, I keep saying thank you to you. I just thought I should add that before I go. And then that's it. So before you leave tonight, uh, you can still like the broadcast, you know, like it and share it and, you know, do all that stuff. Drop your offerings before you go. And I'm going to see you some other time. And if you are just joining us, remember, you can watch this broadcast from the beginning again. Uh, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Just move it back and then that's you. So I will see you again some other time. Until then, stay safe and good night.